All right, as you can see here, I have a couple of new additions to the garage. I hauled in a couple of uh, Polaris touring sleds, and neither one of these are currently running. Uh, they've been sitting outside for a few years, so we've got some work to do, and hopefully that work will result in a couple of videos. Today, we're doing one that's quick and painless. We're replacing the broken uh, choke lever on this uh, Polaris here. And the process I go through is going to be the same or similar on a lot of other recreational vehicles with this lever type of a choke, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get started, and uh, this one should be quick and painless. All right, we'll start by removing this threaded retaining ring here. And if it's on real tight, you might need to take pliers to get it started. And there is a lock washer as well, so you don't want to lose that. Let's go ahead and set those aside. All right, so whatever you're replacing the choke lever on, you're going to look for cables that go to that location. In this case, I have three carburetors, so I've got three cables. Um, and the choke mechanism looks like this. And you can see that this is the threaded portion uh, where we removed that threaded ring, okay? All right, so you can see here we have this box where all the cables run to. And at first glance, it might look like it's a sealed piece. Uh, but if we go ahead and grab a hold of it and give it a tug, you can see that it does come apart. We have a spring. And then we have this lever mechanism um, that is actually broken on this one, okay? So the kit includes the spring, this mechanism, a pin, and a replacement lever. Let me show you the kit real quick. All right, so what I'm going to do is hit this uh, with a little bit of white lithium grease here. And if you had it in a tube, it would be a little bit less messy, but this will get the job done. And hopefully that will work its way down into uh, the cables a little bit. Okay. And we're just going to slide this new piece into place like that. Put our spring on. Place the cover here. Okay. All right, this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm doing it over a catch pan so we don't lose our pin. Um, now, the problem is we don't have enough room to get our pin in because this lever is retracted in too far. I could loosen up all the choke mechanisms on, on each carburetor, or we could try to take a shortcut, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get the uh, lever on in the correct position here. And there's a flat spot here. I didn't point out, I think, when I removed it. So that goes in like that. We want the choke lever to be down. Okay. I'm going to take uh, what I like to call the dentist pick, but just a pick tool here, and see if I can pry that lever up enough so that we can get it where we want it. Okay. Like that. And actually, you can see, we can test it out here. So the cables aren't seized up, which is good. Okay, that's how it should work. But obviously we can't ride around with this dentist pick in there, so we need to get the pin in. So what we're going to do, put that back in the regular position, is basically replace this pick with this pin. And it may take a couple tries, or we might get it right off. Once you get it started, you don't want to pull the uh, pin out because it'll kind of go cockeyed. You'll want to tap it in slowly. Man, I think I do have it started. Let me get something to tap that in with real quick. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to squeeze it the rest of the way in. It's right there. And again, you don't want to break your new part, so. Alright, let's test it out for operational uh, purposes here. Looks good. Now to get it back through the hole, it has to be like that. And I'll just feed it back through the hole that we took it out of and we'll put our retaining ring on here hopefully this video has been helpful and if you did find the video helpful don't forget to hit that thumbs up button I always appreciate that and if you want to see more of this type of stuff don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
hey thanks for watching uh, i've got the part linked down below in the comment section and uh stay tuned i'll be doing more videos on these two sleds as i work through the process of getting them running and ready for winter have fun